Hello, it's Mike here from MusicRadioCreative.com. All this week we're having a sound design week on Mike Russell VIP. So head over, uh, click to subscribe, try the free trial and see what you think. But I thought I'd give you a quick tip on my Mike Russell channel about how to create DTMF tones. You know those phone pips that you get, sometimes still today on the iPhone and Android, but definitely in the past on uh, phone lines you can type in and hear the tones as you type. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's free and easy to do in Audacity using the J generate menu which is right here. Uh, head for DTMF tones and you can type in your favorite radio station frequency. Mine is 1027, radio station I used to work on. The amplitude, so uh, you can make that obviously to be as high as possible at one or you can have it at half the volume, 0 0.5. Duration of the tones, 0.5 seconds should be enough. Uh, and the tone to silence ratio, so uh, do you want like the tones to be super pumped together like this? like nothing, essentially. That's not really what you want. So you obviously want to have a little bit of tone to silence. So in the middle, it's going to leave a little bit of tone, a little bit of silence, like this. And if you go to DTMF tones and pull it all the way up to 100%, boom, you're going to get the tones all glued together like this which kind of sounds like they're merging together. Uh, so you can have some fun with it. You can type in any number you can think of, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Uh, and you can even click Preview here if you wish. The Manage button as well allows you to save presets as well. So if you find something you particularly like that works for you, save it as a preset. I'll click OK on this, maybe make the tone uh, an amplitude of 1 to show you the difference. And Duration, it's changed to Samples there. Let's go for Seconds and let's go for uh, say one second for each of the tones. There it is, one second already in. Click OK, and here we go. That's quite a nice tune, isn't it? Although a little bit overmodulated, so definitely pull those tones down to be less than one amplitude, maybe around 0.5 or 0.7. You can always normalize later on in the mix. I hope you enjoy generating DTMF tones in Audacity, and if you want to learn sound design in Adobe Audition, head on over to Mike Russell VIP now.